Obviously, I'm in a position to visit a lot of marinas, but one in particular caught my attention because it is so unique. In fact, it's probably the most unique I've ever seen. It's the F3 Marina in Fort Lauderdale. As we step inside, there's a welcoming lobby with a large counter with chairs. This is a nice spot to gather and have a few drinks after the cruise. Behind are rows of liquor lockers to keep your private reserve locked away until you're ready to start entertaining. These will rent by the month. Across is a lounge area with comfortable sofas and chairs. A TV is on the far wall. And just alongside are glass-fronted conference rooms. Back to the front and to the other side, there's a reception area as well as a gift shop with some cool F3 merch. Now this area and the previous gathering areas are separated by the bathrooms and locker rooms. Let's take a look. Not only are there seemingly endless rows of lockers, but they also sell ice here to fill up the fish boxes. And these lockers aren't just here for clothes. No, they actually have open tops so that they can stow fishing gear and rods. So how does all this work? Well, outside there are slips to place the boats while they wait for their owners to show up. But this is a dry storage rack facility and the boats are stored inside. The storage space goes up six levels and the entire building is rated for 180 mile per hour winds, which is a category five hurricane. Now where the unique features come in is how these boats are launched. It's all automated. And when they're launched, they're put into this launch bay. Just outside, there's a bridge that forms a continuation of the sidewalk along the wet slips. So that's actually a drawbridge. We could take 240 boats with a dimension maximum of 46 feet, 13 foot beam, and 30,000 pounds. And it looks like you're almost at capacity. Right I've now. got about five slips left. That's it. So we're, we're not too far from it. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I've got quite a few boats out right now. That's the only open spot, but got quite a few on level six and a couple on level five. This all works with a mechanically operated cradle that does all the heavy work. And every position of this cradle is programmed for exact position. Let's hear a little bit about it. So there are sensors to line all these boats up. Correct. So we got a sensor that points down at the crane from up above there to give you a height sensor. We've got two sensors in the front. And then on all four corners is a load cell, which can give us the weight and the weight distribution of each vessel. Now, when I came to visit, there was a boat being retrieved, the F3 Marina's Schaefer V33, a beautiful boat that showcases this state-of-the-art marina. So first, the remotely controlled drawbridge comes up, and our boat is pulled into the launch and retrieval bay. And this is all done by the staff. The owner just steps off the boat and walks away. Notice the fender system on both sides of the boat now. Once in position, the final rack space is programmed into the computer and the crane automatically takes care of the rest. So what do you have in your hand here? So we've got the manual control here for the crane. Just a standard up, down, east, west, south, north. We have rotate functions here because the crane can rotate 180. And then we have an auto center function here, which if any boat that's near the rack, we can hit this auto center and it'll center itself on the rack so we can manually place it if we ever need to. So everything's done actually through an app called Speedy Dock, and on that app there's a launch for every single ten, every 10 minutes that in the day to create a launch from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we can launch a boat. It only takes us four minutes to launch the boat, but we give ourselves 10 minutes.
This marine has got a lot to offer and as I said, it's among the most unique I've ever seen. That's the F3 Marina in Fort Lauderdale.